Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see Evolution and Forward of ASME Section 8, Division 1. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. So, evolution of code. So, 1915, this ASME got started. How that ASME started? Because there are lots of accidents okay, happening in power boilers. Because that was the first equipment which we started using, the steam boilers. So, lots of failure happened and then that committee was made. That committee was mainly that manufacturers association. Whoever is involved in manufacturing power boilers or you know, equipments. So that is how it started. Then year on year, it got, you know, people started joining. The community became bigger. It spread into many countries. They developed a good feedback system. Like whatever is happening, you have to capture. Okay. What is good happening, that is also you have to capture. What is bad, that is definitely has to be captured. That is how that code is growing. And code is revised every two years. So they keep on collecting lots of data from all the members who are you know, part of ASME group. And these are the manufacturers, all the big companies, if you see in India or outside, they are normally part of ASME. Okay, So they will be asking questions, clarifications, some new thing which they did, they also will be shared and some practices which has been used and it has been proven by the track record okay then it can be even added to the code later on okay so that is how code is keep on evolving and that is why it is very much relevant today okay now we are at forward if you have code with you i'll request you can open that if it is possible and try to read the forward. So if you read the code very carefully, see the first statement. It's talking about the code is related to safety, relating only to pressure integrity. Okay, now you know there are lots of different loadings. Pressure is one of the loading. Then there is temperature, there are wind and seismic, there is piping load, there is other equipment load, platform, ladder, lots of different loadings are there. But the ASME Section 8 Division 1 is focused on what? Pressure integrity. Okay, guys, hope you are getting it. This is what code is focused on, pressure integrity. Okay. Then code is saying what? Code is not a handbook. Not a handbook means what? Code is not a handbook which you can just, you have to make some pressure vessel. You purchased code and then you, you referred it and you are able to make a pressure vessel with it. No, you won't be able to do it. Why? Because you need experience, education to understand that code. Nobody, whatever intelligent he may be, will not be able to understand code one less unless he is experienced. He is having proper relevant education. Okay. Then only he can refer and understand code. You may need help of others. So in the start, when you're just starting with the code, you need handholding. You need someone to handhold you and tell you from where to start, how to read. Okay. Then you can, once you are, you have covered major part, you have understood the structure, you have understood what are the important clause, then you can keep on adding. It's, it's a never ending process. You can keep on learning code and you know, it will, it is not going to end. Nobody can say that I can understand 100% of code. No. But with 20% of understanding, just remember this, it's a very important point. 20% of understanding of code, you will be able to understand or solve the problems in your day to daily life or in company, 80 to 90% of your work, you will be able to do it with that just 20% of understand. That is how it is. 
Okay. So you have to just, you don't have to target 100%. You have to target those 20% through which you will be able to solve 80 or 90% of your problems. That is where you have to focus. So for that, which are those 20% that identification will be done by some guidance. Okay. So engineering judgment, how engineering judgment comes, lots of time you will refer that, use your judgment. So judgment is judgment comes with experience. Okay. Once you are doing lots of work in that field, the judgment will come to you. Okay. It's not like some, it will be, you will be told in some class or, you know, some college. It's not like that. Only through experience, you will get that judgment. And that judgment, you cannot apply to overrule the code requirement. Getting that? You, that judgment has to be applied to understand the code requirement, not to overrule. Nobody can overrule the code requirement. Whatever is mentioned in the code, you have to understand it properly. And to understand it properly, you need engineering judgment. And for that, you need experience, education. Okay. Now, code is some, uh, saying something about computers also. So, code is saying, if you read forward, if it is in front of you, just read. It is not prohibiting use of computers. Okay. But what it is saying, you can use computer. But whatever calculations we have told, that has to be done as per the rules of Section 8, Division 1. You do whatever you want. You want to use computers, use it. You want to Excel, you want to use Excel sheet, use it. You want to use a different software, you use it. But that software has to be built upon the principles of Section 8, Division 1. Okay. You cannot say that I have done this calculation in PV light and now you have to accept it. No, you have if the client is asking that, show me this calculation, show me that calculation, he is entitled to do that. He can ask questions and you have to reply. That is where the code understanding is much, much more important than learning the software. Software is just a tool. Okay. But learning code is what will take much of your time. And that is where your experience will show up. And that is how you can differentiate yourself from others. Okay. Great. I hope we are good with this. So this is the forward and in forward, one more point is there, which is very important. And that is if some design or calculation, if it is not available in code, that does not mean that you, you are allowed not to perform that calculation. No code is saying, if you read in forward in the first para itself, in the lower almost last of that paragraph, you will find code is saying that you have to use the standard. There may be some other standards or the technique or methodology codes, which are there and they have that calculations. You have to use that and then do your calculation. You cannot say that this is not covered by section eight division one. So I'm allowed not to perform that calculation. Any example you can give for such scenario where code does not talk about that, does not give a guideline, but we have to refer some other code and we are doing it. Any example you can give for such things? Just think about it. Any example where code is not giving any guideline, but you are following certain. Yes, Himanshu is very right. Calculation of supports. So calculation of supports mainly we do with Dennis Moss. Okay, the chick analysis we perform. That is for stresses in the vessel. And we do support design also with help of normal design, you know, uh, first methodology or whatever we call as a normal design rules, okay, which is not covered in code. Right. So nozzle loads, very rightly said Amol. So nozzle load, we perform WRC calculations, which is not there in section eight, division. but we cannot say that uh, division one does not have rules. So I will not do it. No, 
So really good examples. Great guys. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let us move forward. So just try to read forward again and see if you have some other takeaways. Seismic load, Gotham. Very right. Thank you. Great. It's really becoming interesting. Safety valve calculation. Really good. Great, guys. So just read that forward again and see apart from these points. I hope you have written down these points. So apart from these points, see if you take out something more. And I'm sure that definitely there you will be able to take out something more useful from the forward. Just try to read it again and try to complete this list. Okay. Hope you can do that. 